wanted to show you what an extraordinary site this is and how in the very first year as I explored this site, it was perfect for the concept of sculpture by the sea. So this location, looking to Bondi Beach and straight out over the Tasman Sea is, is one of the spectacular locations at Sculpture by the Sea. We call it pole position for obvious reason, looking down onto the sandstone lookout, which is also one of the major locations for the exhibition, and here along the ridge line where we can also install sculptures and having them overlooking the headland as sunrise comes up. So it's December. We've just finished the 2015 exhibition and we're already in development for the 2016 show, our 20th anniversary exhibition. As we're finalising a lot of the administrative details for the last exhibition in 2015, in December what we start to do is plan just the big picture aspects of developing the, the next exhibition. Key amongst those is preparing the artist call for submissions, where in early February we're going to be sending out artists around the world the application form and inviting them to submit proposals to be considered by the curatorial panel. Helping us with selecting the artists that we'll be inviting for next year's exhibition will be our newly composed artistic advisory committee, which is people who've informally been helping us for many, many years. Uh, Geoffrey Edwards, the director of the Geelong Gallery in Victoria, uh, Neen Schwartz, an artist from Western Australia and a senior lecturer at Edith Cowan University, and Dr Michael Hill, Head of Art History and Art Theory at the National Art School in Sydney. So while developing the artistic side of the 2016 exhibition, we also have the continual challenge of finding the funds to put on Sculpture by the Sea as a free to the public exhibition. At this stage in December, we're without a principal sponsor for next year and we're hoping to secure funding from the Federal Government's new catalyst funding through the Federal Ministry for the Arts. So fingers crossed on both those fronts. I want to take you back 19 and a half years to the first exhibition in 1997. 64 sculptures up, on and down in a day. And just before the DN stall, we're sitting on the cliff behind here. So this is the location where at four o'clock or so on the first day of the exhibition, I was sitting down with Ron Robertson Swan and Michael Legrand. We were so taken aback by what we'd achieved, yet at the same time going through my mind was how is it going to be possible to make this exhibition a reality year after year?